Adrian Newey is one of the most successful designers in Formula One history, whose four World Championship titles with Red Bull came after team boss Christian Horner convinced him to join the ranks of what was, at the time, an ambitious project aiming to transform a midfield runner into a championship contender. Christian, I think, made his, his business of, of always happening to be walking the opposite way through the paddock when I walked through, or at least there's more chance meetings than the law of averages should suggest there should have been. So we got chatting and it started kind of unfolding from there. And for me it was, it was the opportunity to try to fulfil unfinished business. That unfinished business is a nod to Newey's first F1 design role, the privateer team Leighton House, who showed flashes of brilliance during a brief spell in the championship in the early 1990s, before financial issues took hold, leading to the demise of the team. I think we had about a total of 50 employees, and we'd had very up and down performances. We'd had some podiums, very nearly won in France in 1990. But I always felt that had, had we had a continued finance, maybe we could have gone on to win races and who knows, perhaps even championships. So it was, it was a great sadness that that dream of Leighton House was kind of cut short. But around a decade later, Newey's services were acquired by the similarly fledgling Red Bull team, a project that reinstilled the drive he once felt at Leighton House. Still the, the kind of unfinished business from the Leighton House is in the back of my mind, so the opportunity to join a young startup team and see if we could go from what was the ashes of Jaguar to building up to a team that perhaps challenged the races and maybe even championships was one that seemed very attractive, something to, to re-motivate me and um, get me going again. And Newey, still an integral member of Red Bull's ongoing success today, cherishes the journey dearly. When I joined Red Bull, they were kind of were known as the party team, not taken terribly seriously by the, by the kind of slightly snooty motor racing fraternity. And many people thought that my joining was career suicide, and that I'd taken on far more than I could possibly chew. So to work with Christian for us to build the team up from that kind of Ashes of Jaguar team to the point that we won our first race, clearly a very proud moment in China in 2009, and then on to that championship win at the end of 2010 was a real career highlight. To be involved with something from the start and build it up and get it to the point where you're on top of the world was something truly special.